it is March 2022 and the presidential election is 32 days away. With the exception of the artworks dedicated to the pink campaign of Lenny Robredo, this is the first time I am seeing a painting depicting how the top five presidential candidates project themselves or are being depicted. Let's go through them one by one. Isco Moreno has not been wanting in reminding us of his humble Tondor roots, which was probably why Juanito Torres, the artist, paints him as a modern day Andres Bonifacio as depicted by national artist Botom Francisco. Both Isco and Bonifacio come from Tondo, but the Tondo that the Capipunero was born to during that time was nothing like the Tondo of modern history. Tondo back then was at least middle class. With his admitted net worth now, Moreno is above middle class. Next, we have the current vice president, Lenny Robredo, ready to fight as well, but with a spear or a lightsaber, depending on whom you talk to. One friend says she is Mulan, and another said she is a female Jedi. If Torres had painted her doing this anime style pose, there wouldn't have been any debate. Manny Pacquiao is the only candidate that is not painted as a caricature. Torres presents him as he was, the greatest Filipino boxer who was able to do what no politician or hero had ever accomplished unite the country, and bring the crime rate down to zero. Next is the survey leader, Bongbong Marcos, whose depiction is debatable. No pun intended. It is clear that he is a Star Wars character, but which one? One friend said he's Darth Maul, while another said he's one of the guards. He can be Darth Maul, who plotted his return to power despite losing his place in the ranks of the Sith. Bongbong could also be a guard, the way he's been protecting his historically disgraced father's legacy. Last is Ping Lakson, who, if the movie Robocop was not made at all, would probably be painted a la Clint Eastwood. A generation has grown up knowing Lakson as a senator, but history would remember him more as Robina Gohongwe's rescuer, who has yet to fully shake off the Kuratong Balela issue. Torres paints our candidates in a fiesta atmosphere, as our elections have often been described as such, which is a bit untrue. Fiestas are happy occasions where we all come together and forget our differences. Hardly something that happens during elections where it's more like nagpipistahan. The joke is on us, especially to the next generation as represented by the boy who is still a kid at heart with a Superman costume. His mind is trapped inside a fishbowl helmet where he could die as the water is at the level of his mouth. There is no way for him to rise to get some air as there's no air at all. Being just a kid, he is living in fantasy land where heroes still exist along with fish that can swim above water. Like the rest of the candidates, he is painted in action. He is running towards something that is hidden from us, the viewers. His eyes are steady in his gaze. Perhaps he sees something that we, the jaded and skeptical adults, can't. It may be something that can transform our nation, as symbolized by the fluttering of butterflies around him. But in the meantime, he has to run past the dogfights and sabong that are more apt descriptions of our elections. At the bottom right, we see what appears to be a toy paper ball that we inflate with our breath, but the air easily seeps out. It doesn't last, the same way promises of candidates don't last as soon as they're elected. Torres calls his piece Cartoon Heroes. According to Miriam Webster, a hero is someone admired for achievements and novel qualities, and one who shows great courage. If you are still undecided, or perhaps still open to considering another candidate, Miriam Webster can help you choose. Choose the leader that we may not deserve, but one that our nation desperately needs. Choosing and voting wisely is essential. Art is essential. 